nine, Nadal Hassan went on a shooting spree in Fort Hood, Texas, that killed 13 people and wounded dozens more. He had been a psychiatrist for the U.S. Army. After being convicted of the mass murders, he was sentenced to die. And now he's back in the news, because now he's trying to join ISIS. Hassan wrote a letter to Islamic State leader Abu Baghdadi requesting citizenship with the group, which he then shared with Fox News. He did that before, too. He sent information to Fox News when he was standing trial. His lawyer, John Galligan, confirmed that Hassan did write this letter requesting citizenship with ISIS. In the letter, Hassan wrote that it would be an honor for any believer to be an obedient citizen soldier to a people and its leader who don't compromise the religion of Almighty Allah just to get along with disbelievers. He said he was making the request formally and humbly. The letter clearly showed then that Hassan is driven by radical religious motives, despite that being downplayed in his trial. The Defense Department actually categorized Hassan's shooting spree as workplace violence instead of just a straight-up act of terrorism. And that's something Hassan's victims are fighting for in the courts, to have the shooting classified as terrorism instead of just workplace violence. That way they can receive combat recognition and benefits like medical coverage. While they're outraged that Hassan even gets to write a letter and have the media report on it, they're vindicated by it to some degree. Now that Hassan is asking to be part of ISIS, it's a lot harder for the Department of Defense to maintain he isn't a terrorist. Hassan isn't the only American in the U.S. to feel the pull of ISIS either. Douglas McCain was from Minnesota, lived in San Diego, and he went to Syria to die for ISIS. Omar Jamal, a member of Minneapolis's Somali community near where McCain grew up, said that McCain was hardly alone. Jamal said he knew at least 10 young men in his town that got pulled in to fight and kill for ISIS. And that's what this new letter of Hassan's underscores, that the terrorism of ISIS is not just something happening in some remote alien place, it's a thing happening and growing already in the U.S. So while it's terrifying when the news reports that ISIS may be landing on American soil from Mexico or other ports of entry any day now, the truth is actually scarier, that ISIS is already here. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.